Are you still there? So I guess this means we won't be seeing each other again. Do you hate me now? Yes. Why? Hmm, I wonder. With so much hatred, how do you expect to survive on your own? <laughs> Are you senile, old man? My skills have surpassed far beyond even you now. I agree with you. However... I'm still alive. It seems after all your training, my lessons have failed. Even still, your final lesson. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Rihanna? No matter how far you run, you will never escape your own hatred. It's just... Well, I noticed you didn't cry at the funeral. Have you cried at all? Doc, what are you talking about? Are you serious? Um, maybe we should just discuss the Kaneda project? Ah, yes. Right. Well, um, like I said... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, before she died, Naya was working on a project that, well, we think it would have changed everything. Not just from a scientific perspective, but medical as well. It's really rather remarkable when you think... Well, Dr. May... Do you wanna? Sure. Basically, what your mother discovered is that the Canetta flowers may be able to cure a number of untreatable diseases. However, Canetta flowers are primarily used, well, by drug people. Junkies? Correct. <sighs> what was that, Dex? I, uh, didn't say anything. A giant drug syndicate called Dalmasca has collected a large majority of the remaining Conetta flowers, and they're already considered one of the rarest flowers in the system, even before all the forests and grass turned into a giant desert. Now we don't know how, but they've acquired just about all of the flowers left, and they intend to sell them to drug addicts for a very cheap price. Junkies, as you say. So she needs the flowers for this big project. We just have no way of getting our hands on the flowers. Not legally, anyway. So that's where I come in. Harrison, no one's asking you to fight a war. Sometimes. It's okay to feel 
the way we planned everything out, all you'll have to do is disguise as one of the Damasca. And when the opportunity is right, you steal a flower and get out of there. I know it sounds easier than it will be. We can't ask you to do something like this. It's way too dangerous. Plus, you were just disbanded from the Viral Force two days ago. Oh yes, that's true. Plus, I'm sure your mother wouldn't approve of you fighting the most ruthless drug trafficking organization in the entire system. You're probably right. You actually look excited. When do we start? So it's true! My flowers are being stolen by a red-eyed man. You're the one they're all afraid of. You're the Sindor. Do I look frightened to you? Actually, you look excited. You missed the point! If I ever catch you stealing from me again, I'll finish the job. No, 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 no! Wait! Please, no! You have to give me that flower now! Please! Embarrassing. Wow. Take whatever honor you have left and get out of my sight. <sighs> what happened to all the real men? This is just pathetic. Master Huko, should I just kill him? This is hard to watch. 
No. You don't want to die, do you? I thought you were a dangerous man. But if I take away your sword... <laughs> if you ask me nicely, I promise we won't kill you. Huh? Unfortunately, for the both of us, you can't take away what makes me a dangerous man. <laughs> what the? Master? He shouldn't even be able to move! You had better kill me, because there's no way that you were leaving here with that flower! That's enough! Do it, Fry! What? I thought you weren't going to kill him! I said do it! Do it now! But you still have to fight me if you want this flower! But if you try to take this flower, I'll kill you both where you stand. Mister! Would you like this journey to continue? Good. Because it's only beginning. This journey, however, begins at the end. Sometimes death is where the real journey begins. Do you believe in Laura? Laura is her goddess. Those who believe in her believe that to meet her in the afterlife is to come face to face with your one true self. She will take the face of a woman you once knew. Someone you love. Someone you fear. Am I the face you wish to see? Do you miss me? Did you love me? Is it because I died? That's okay. Sometimes death is where the real journey begins. And sometimes things are not as they appear. <laughs> Hi, Queen Laura. It's me again. I was gonna kill myself today. Did you know that? I follow the sound of the scream, and I ended up here. Why? Why did you kill my brother? He was the only family I had left. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so weak. I just... I just didn't want to be alone anymore. Now, I have no more family. You took them away. I don't know why you hate me so much. But now... But now I know what it feels like. Hate. It's 
it's going to start raining soon. When I was young, I, I used to fear the rain. But now it's the only thing that washes the blood away. I don't really know how to, I would describe it to you. I don't, I don't know. I don't really think about it, to be honest. Like, the same way you don't think about how it feels to compute data or access a network. Well, no, if you, if you want to know what being a human is like, Eating is a pretty big part of it. When you feel like your battery is dying, that's what it's like to feel hungry. And when your battery is being recharged, that's sort of what eating feels like. Does that make sense? Alright, well... Your face doesn't make sense. <laughs> exactly. No, we can't. We don't have time. No, I'm not. Why would I call her? We're not going to Junie's, Al. We're going to Geneva. I have to drop off the flower to Kamal and Anna. We talked about this. Al, I'm not calling Junie just for the coolants. I'm already two days late on the flower. Uh, my fault? Oh, really? Well, you remember the time we ran out of fuel in midair? Yeah, whose fault was that? Don't fall. Watch my hands, and remember the signs. Remember the signs. Remember the gift of life. Ow! No, I'm fine. No! I just fell. <laughs> Hello. As some of you may know already, the Atlas Corporation is the number one authoritative power.
What is it? Did you hear that? Get involved. We're just scouts. How can they even call themselves police? That kid didn't even do anything. This is too much. <coughs> uh, Alright, let's go back to base. Okay? What is it this time, June? Oh. Corey, can you get that, sweetie? I love you. Of course, honey. I love you, too. Junie, come on. Calm down. It was the phone. Goodness, Roa. This place is huge. Ah, oh, Mom, seriously? It wasn't just the phone. Too. What did you hear, Mom? What did you say, Roa, dear? Ugh. This is it. I will not forgive them this time. always loved to goof around. He was always playing games. He didn't understand. He was too kind. He didn't understand that someone could hate us so much just because of the way we look. We are Elbin. And what it means to be Elbin is to be cursed. Cursed with red skin. All we have is each other. Lord does not exist. There's no god or goddess. There's no one out there to look out for us. We have to protect each other. They killed one of us first. Die. Jolita, please. Firepower than that. Mm -hmm. 
My scanners have identified you as a Vero soldier. By Atlas law, you are considered a terrorist. Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. <clears throat> red eyes. Is that real? Impossible. Thank you. Did you understand me? I said, do you understand me? Master Zero, I won't last two seconds on a battlefield if I can't defend myself. I agree with you. But you're not talking about defense. We're in the middle of a war! You're trying to tell me you never killed anyone when you were a soldier? Did you forget what it was like already? You really don't understand. I feel them in every breath I take. I see their faces in every person I meet. A soldier never forgets. I see them in you. The same rage, the same fear. I am. I'm afraid. I'm a coward. But if you teach me, I won't be afraid. For once I can feel like a real man. A real soldier. You're not a soldier, Harrison. What? You trained me! I know. That's why I won't teach you to kill. Because you're not a coward, Harrison. Killing is for cowards. Do you understand me? Harrison. Harrison? <laughs> Harrison! Harrison? Harrison? Hmm? Ah. Ouch! Are you okay? Oh, Junie, what are you doing? Where did you come from? What do you mean? I just got an alert message that your coolants need to be refilled. Al, you called Junie? Lame. Yes, and you're lucky she did because you're three months behind on your appointments. What have you been doing? And why aren't you wearing any clothes? Are you one of those? First of all, Al is not a she. Second of all, he is my home, and I'm allowed to wear whatever I want in my home. Uh, whatever. When are you going to get here? I have some new engines I want you to try and steal. Steal it? You know I'm not actually a thief, right? It's outside the Roman sector. 
You know I'm not authorized to go out there. Well, clearly a very little standards with boundaries, so I can't imagine why that'd be a problem. Oh, plus I have this new hypercentrometer that is guaranteed to blow your space hole. It's got two gen temper cools aligned with eight, you heard me, devil boy, eight different mm. Castros. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but how many Castros does Alstar have? Is it six? Seven? Don't help him, Al. He's a big boy. Come on. Come on. Five. Signals weak, honey. You're gonna have to speak up. Five. <laughs> huh? Harrison, what did you do to your hand? Huh? <laughs> what? Where did you run off to this time? I don't want to go. We're going. This is what you were created for, number eight. Do you understand? No, I'll never understand that. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, I don't have time for this. You can tell me what's wrong when we leave, okay? Good morning, my king. You didn't think we forgot, did you? It's a wind bracelet. Oh, you don't like it. Um, that's okay. Here, we'll just put it over here. You don't have to wear it. I love it. Thank you, father. I just wrote another song for you and mother. Do you want to hear me sing it? You can't stay, can you? I'm so sorry, Pamela. I promise, next time I'll listen to it. I want to go with you. Pamela, please, don't make this hard on your father. Take me away from here, Father. Pam, you must learn to be more mature and more patient. Remember, our lives belong to the people. One day you'll understand. Princess Penala, is there something I can do? Sharice, my clones get to leave, but I always have to stay. I'll never understand. What is that? We think it's a wormhole, ma'am. Alright, we'll issue a warning out to the other ship. Number five. Here. Hmm. Number six. Here. Number seven. Here. Number eight. Number eight. 
Oh, where is she? She's so Where's sad. number eight? She is always doing this. Where is number eight? Where is Turn she? the ship around now. We're missing number eight. Sound the alarm at the palace. Wish I could be you. You're free. Hello, ma'am. What a lovely fragrance you're wearing. Uh, thank you very much. Did you shop for perfume at Giora's? Uh, no. I bought this from a merchant. Giora's is selling Cherry Hill women's perfume for 60% off starting tomorrow until the end of the month. Ugh. Okay. Have an extraordinary day, ma'am. Well, hello. Very nice to see you again, Mr. Kanji. I hope work is going well. Oh, yeah? What's that supposed to mean, robot? Well, I'm merely wondering if you are enjoying your job. Please, I meant no offense. You're lucky I'm in a good mood today. I'm not scared to fight a tin can. I'll... I'll tin your can! Please, sir, if you have a complaint regarding my responses, please contact my maintenance center using the platform I am stationed on. My particular model is not designed to endure physical damage. <laughs>
How's that possible? <clears throat> That's the apex symbol. That means... How do you know it? Who did you steal those weapons from? You are the thief. Not me. <laughs> what did you call me? You stole the Kaneta flower. <laughs> no, actually... Oh yeah, that I did steal. thief are you? Rena. I remember now. He told me about you. Killing is for cowards. You were a Vero soldier. But there's no way Ren would give you those weapons. So I guess that makes you a thief. Or am I wrong? He used to say that all the time. But you know that, right? He used to say to never go for the quick kill. It makes your movements easy to predict, which must have made it easy for him to see you coming when you tried to kill him. Then you were disbanded. You have seconds to live. When I was young, I, I used to fear the rain. But now it's the only thing that washes the blood away. <laughs> 